Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do an update video on how we are doing, how our transition was, how's it going, what's happening next. Um, but we are in the kids' room, Mila and Kane's, Kane's bed, Mila's bed. Um, and if you haven't seen our house video, go check that one out. It was the last video I posted, I believe. Um, but we are here. We have been on the East Coast almost the entire month, which sounds so crazy. I feel like I just, just left. Um, but how we're transitioning, um, when we first got here, we lived with my sister for a week, which was just like a vacation, which we normally do once a year, um, out here anyways. And then once we got into our house, it was way more real, <laughs> um way exciting we had to buy all new furniture we've had to buy everything like down to plungers down to um trash cans for the bathrooms like lots of things so that's been kind of exciting um it's also been fun um for the kids to be with their cousins so my sister if you didn't know she lives here um and she lives seven minutes away so we've had sleepovers and every day we see them obviously and that has been super exciting for the kids and they are loving it um they are doing well here we're all doing well we i will say there's a transition of all of our friends not being here um we go to the park and mila's like my oldest she's like mom where's my friends and i'm like oh we don't have friends yet but we're gonna make friends um or she'll say like who are we meeting at the park today? And I'm like, oh, well, it's just us. <laughs> so that has been a little bit, um, I think maybe a little bit harder for her because she's very social and we have lots of friends back in uh, San Diego. So that is going to change because I found a mom's group. Um, it's called Moms of Stafford, Moms Club of Stafford or something like that. And so they meet up every single day at a different park and they do different activities together. So I think that will be something fun to join. Um, there are also a few workout groups out here that we were looking into um, joining. I'm not 100% sure yet because a little bit of a drive and which sounds so crazy because in California or San Diego, I would drive like 35 minutes away just to go any like anywhere I can't even think now where it's 35 minutes away but I would try it didn't matter if it was 30 minutes or more and now I live here and everything's right here and if it's not right here then it seems like it's so far away so I think that'll probably change but um yeah I'm looking into doing that getting the kids out they are um Mila is out till August so no school for her um but I did get Kanan which I think is going to help his transition he did have a little bit of a rocky start not having a schedule uh, we're kind of getting into a groove and a schedule now thankfully and he starts school tuesday which i'm so excited about um if you did not know he has an iep for speech and occupational and academic or something like that um and so he got into preschool here which i was like yes give me anything you can and so he'll go four days a week for three hours um, and that school is five minutes away which is so so awesome um, we have a meet the teacher on monday which i'm excited about and there he'll do speech therapy and occupational therapy i think yeah yeah i don't know once a week i'm not sure of the schedule um but we are super super excited for him and for cora she obviously she's staying home with us but um also i've been looking into teaching jobs not full-time but part-time um i think having my sister here helps like oh she she really like would take all three of my children um in a heartbeat and so it's nice maybe i there's a position open just down the road and it's two days a week for four hours teaching preschool and that sounds awesome so I think I'm going to apply there not till the school year begins because it's on the school year schedule, which is even better. So I'm on the same um, school schedule as the kids. So and Kane's school is on the same schedule. So everyone's just on the same schedule, which is awesome um, being in this feels like a little town. I don't know. I've never been really in a little town. And so this is definitely more small town feel, which is cool. Um, but yeah. As for that, that is what our future 
is holding for August and then Kane starting school Tuesday. Um, and Cora, her transition from the East West coast to the East coast. Um, she did well, she's potty trained. And so she, um, did have a few accidents there in the beginning, which was to be expected. Uh, but now we're back into full potty train mode and we're getting better. Everyone is like calming down a little bit. I feel like it was like chaos for a very long time and maybe three weeks. And then now like schedules are like laying, what am I saying? Schedules are evening out. Naps are evening out. Like Cora's back to napping, thankfully. Um, and yeah, everyone's just more calm, which is so nice. Um, I think that's it for my update. Yeah. So if you have any questions, I'm going to do what I got my kids for Easter next because that's all in the closet right now. And I want to do it and then put it away so they do not see. But anyhow, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video.